Okay, and we are back for a new game here. This is game three of the evening, actually. The first two games both won decisively by Banu via abandonment, a common technique to beat the enemy. Now, I don't know why the game hasn't yet started, but let me just have a look at the chat. Uh, even... Okay, so Banu is white again and Jan is black. A pretty normal looking start. I don't know much about this position, but it looks normal-ish. Um, probably a little bit trickier to play for black than for white because black is anyway down a tempo in the position being black uh, and for black to be able to play both pawns ahead so early doesn't seem likely and it isn't that's why Banu has won the extra pawn so you see how I figured all of that I didn't calculate it in my head I just understood the principle of chess and recognized intuitively that two pawns out so early as black, that's uh, a little bit, something's a bit fishy there. And well done to Banu for capitalizing on that. So here we are. And uh, I don't know. Let me chat into what's up, guys, in case Define is watching. All right, and a loaf also. So, Ronki has an interesting position. Ronki definitely has the better position here. An extra pawn in the center is worth its weight in gold. And right now, Fret has a bit of a, a light squares problem. If you go to see a bunch of light squares, which are feeling quite Quite like a hole, if I, if I, if you pardon my language, it feels a bit like a hole in there. And uh, you know, Banu's got to exploit the hole. He's got to put his pieces in the hole, put them in. And I think Banu's going to do just that. At least he wants to. He has that look that says that that's what he wants to do. Now is a critical moment. Critical moment here, tactical. What's the right move for white? I think it's bishop check because you want to get your bishop out for sure. And then maybe you can even put it in a way over here. Maybe. Alternatively, alternatively, uh, you know, if this king moves away, then, oh, he went for bishop takes. That's a bit fishy. But maybe it's not too bad because knight does manage to get into a nice looking square. Uh, but it's not that great actually because the queen will come here. Or maybe even take check first, then comes here and then. It's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, so a look. Alok has a, a lot of good things in his position. He's got the bishop pair, and both these bishops are covering a lot of ground. Now, if only his queen were able to check him, that would make for a very nice situation. But his queen can't, actually, because this knight is guarding those two squares. And even if he comes up, the knight is still guarding that square, and this pawn is still guarding this square. So the queen doesn't get to check the king. Which is, which is good for Banu. Good news for Banu. Bad news for Banu is his king can't castle. And now, oh dear God. This is foolish play. Reactive. Don't be so reactive. You had a chance now. Now that the knight is gone, 
that square is free so you could have come here and check him you could check him while your bishop is covering the square so you would force him to play an ugly move maybe knight comes back then you can do whatever you want to do you can kill this knight with your bishop he would kill back you would kill the queen with your queen he would kill back and at the very end you would get this pawn and that's what it's all about man that's what it's all about getting those pawns they matter okay now you've got a pawn potentially here this is a very very enigmatic position um banu loves to push his knights out into the ethers he thinks they're his spiritual souls that are just going to fly and find their soul partner in life a very common theme and look a brilliantly exploited by jen you see i can appreciate a good move and this is exactly that he spotted that there are two loose pieces on the board and what happens when you have loose pieces they become vulnerabilities they become something that you want to try to exploit now how do you exploit them you just look for ways in which you can attack both at the same time and that's exactly what he did by moving his queen there he attacked both at the same time but you could only defend one so jen got the other masterful job masterful job but the rule of thumb here to pay attention to is that you see, I spotted something was a little bit wrong. My spidey sense went off. That's why I said Banu loves to keep his knights out flying around. I knew there's something wrong with this. Intuitively. The moral of the story, don't have loose pieces, undefended pieces on the board. Minimize them as much as possible to protect yourself from disasters. And disasters always come. So anyway, back to the game. Uh, Jen got the extra piece. Then he got a pawn as well. And a second pawn. And now Banu has moved a bit further. Okay. So I would say that uh, Black should take that knight, I think. Then white would capture back. Uh, this one is not as nice because I think the knight will just simply come back. But it's... Uh, yeah, the game is kind of even. It's weird to say that because white should be winning handily. But black has really fought his way back in the position here. No, no, I got that mixed up. I mean, white has fought back. See, white was up one at this point. He had won that central pawn, but now he lost a piece. Then he lost another pawn. So Jan has a plus three advantage here. Now plus four. And now Banu... Well, he just made a blunder. Wait, Jan just made a blunder, right? He just took that pawn and, and lost his bishop. So it's just a huge blunder right yeah it's a huge blunder he should have taken the knight first sorry man i had a little bit before i started the commentary so a few quality issues there oh man but somehow jen jen got the knight back like i don't understand what i'm watching here Jan came here pinning the knight and rather than protecting that boy, Banu decided to go and take a pawn. So he lost the knight and lost the pawn. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this shit up, man. This is actually happening. Moves such as these are actually happening on planet Earth. And... Well, Jen is just raking it in here. Jen's going to notch up the win. Banu was really feeling frustrated that he wasn't able to beat his fellow CEO class person. 
and it looks like he's gonna lose yet another game. Jan is playing it solid, you know, he knows that this is more than just a game between friends. This is a game between businessmen. It's a, it's a much deeper game than just, you know, just some rating points. There's pride on the line here. When they lose a game, it will really hurt their egos. And that will, that will give them the, uh, the motivation to try to improve so that their ego is never hurt again.